Baldur's Gate 3 Alchemy System is one of the most obtuse, yet insanely powerful systems in the game. It's easy to overlook for a number of reasons. The first being the game doesn't have a very good tutorial on it at all. The second being there is currently a slight bug where you learn recipes and the UI tells you to hit H to see the new recipe that you learned. But if you do hit H when it tells you to, the game brings up your inventory screen instead of the crafting screen. But now that you know that, we can easily work around it. In order to craft potions with alchemy, you'll need to collect reagents. Fortunately, these are readily available throughout the world. Make sure if you're playing with mouse and keyboard, which is going to be most of us since the console port isn't out yet, hold down the left alt key and you'll be able to see items that are interactable light up all over the map. If it's red, you'll probably get labeled a thief, so you might want to avoid these, but everything else is fair game. Once you start collecting reagents, you'll get notifications of recipes you have learned. You'll also be able to find recipes in scrolls and books scattered throughout Faerun. You aren't required to craft potions in camp or any particular crafting station. You can make them throughout the world on the go. In order to craft with alchemy, you'll need to bring up the screen. You can do this one of two ways. The easiest is to hit the H key when you don't have any other windows open. The other way is if you have your character screen open to look at the top and the third symbol, the one on the right that looks like a potion, is the alchemy screen. Most finished products like a potion or an elixir will require component materials to craft. For example, the antidote will take mogwort salt and any suspension. It takes three bullywug trumpet to make a suspension and three mugwort to make a mugwort salt. Once we have the salt and the suspension, we can craft a single antidote. In order to make a healing potion, you'll need three rogues morsel and three bullywug trumpet or three of any other reagent that can make a suspension. Not every potion is for healing. In fact, most provide some other type of benefit, like the antidote, which neutralizes all poisons, or potion of animal speaking, which allows you to talk to animals until your next long rest. So while it's always fun to blow stuff up, remember that special abilities and healing can really swing the balance of power in your favor. So don't sleep on alchemy. I'm Rob. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for all my game guides. And a very special thanks to all my YouTube members and Twitch subscribers, which help give me the motivation to keep making these guides.